hello everyone welcome back to options innovation again and uh, today we will be discussing the topic how to transfer the holdings from one demat account to another demat account so in my case i have uh, four demat accounts in zerodha so i wanted to transfer the holdings from two demat accounts to another two demat accounts so before getting into the steps how to do and all let me give you a brief why i have decided to go from uh, share holdings from one account to another account so for that what what i'll give you an example so i was trading in all of these four accounts separately so what happened last year even though i was net profitable by around 24% we happened to observe that all of these uh, uh, separate demat accounts right brokerage charges and taxes were very high so half of our profits were almost into uh, brokerage and other taxes if this brokerage was cut down we would have easily made saved some good money right so in in our case what happened almost 5 lakhs around we paid as a part of brokerage and taxes because we were trading in four family accounts instead of that if i had traded in only two accounts then easily i could have saved 2 and 1/2 lakhs in this charges itself that is the biggest advantage and second advantage out of these four accounts two accounts are the salaried account uh, holders so what happens myself and one more family account we are already in 30% slab brackets right so whatever 1 rupee also whatever we are earning here we need to pay 30% to government so instead what i am planning i am transferring my holding from my account to my wife's account by because my wife account is non salaried account that way we will be able to save some tax also there so these two are the logic with thought and then we decided to transfer and now my transfer is almost done only some uh, uh, only 10 5 to 10% holdings are left that i'll be doing completing it on monday now let's get into the steps how to do this process <coughs> so since my accounts are in zerodha zerodha provides two capabilities one is in online and another one is in offline me being a new generational person i didn't go for this offline process because in offline process there are some step, steps you have to go physically to get that form you have to fill that form courier them all these things are there instead i preferred online because online is was the easiest so to do this online process what we have to do you need to register all of your demat accounts in the cdsl easiest that is the first thing second thing once the registration is complete you add the beneficiary details in the parent account what is parent account here parent account is the one where you will be transferring the holdings from that account to the beneficiary account so in the cdsl easiest of parent account you need to add the beneficiary detail what is beneficiary detail by taking your demat account number right there is a 16 digit demat account number that you need to configure in the parent account once that is done next important thing what we have to do you need to remember you need to download the holding report of that parent account because in the suppose you want to transfer in your parent account you have around 30 to 40 holdings all these holdings we will have to remember the average price of those holdings how, how what is the average price of all all of these holdings we have to remember only if we enter those correct average price of these holdings right these will be approved in the zero the otherwise they will reject our uh, holdings so we always need to remember all these holdings right for that it is remembering those things is very difficult so zero the provides the option where we can download that holding report that holding report will have complete details of all of your holdings what was the average value of that how many shares you have everything will be there here so that way it will make our life easy so you remember to download this report before initiating the transfer process once you have it in hand then you go ahead and st- uh, Uh, request the transfer process from parent account to beneficiary account where in the cdsl easiest portal once the transfer is done what happens ne- what, suppose today you request the transfer process before 330 remember we need to uh, do this transfer process before 330 otherwise if you do it after 330 they will uh, take the request in the next working day itself that is the first thing second thing if you do it before 330 once everything is done holdings will be reflected in the beneficiary account in the next day but they will be reflecting but they will not have any value they will be reflecting as dashes so what we have to do we have to create discrepancy for that this discrepancy will ask you to enter the value of uh, holding value means what is the average value of that holding when that holding was purchased was it purchased during ipo or it was a normal uh, buying all these things it will be asking once you create the request there 
zero the guys will validate <coughs> whether you have entered the proper values or not why because suppose i have bought my zero reliance holdings at when the average value was at 1000 i can't mention there it as i bought the average value at 500 right so they will reject it you have to mention the exact value of the average price only then they will approve your request that's why we it is recommended to download that uh, holding report if you don't uh, download this holding report what will happen once the transfer is done right next day if you go there in your parent account these holdings it will not be showing so even if you try to download this report that report doesn't have your previous report that way it will be problematic right so before transferring you have to download this report after that only start the transfer process now coming to this discrepancy how to create this discrepancy and all i will show you in detail in my example these are the steps we have to do and uh, once that is done your transfer process is successful <coughs> now let me show you how to do that uh, thing and all in detail so since uh, i told you right like uh, zero provides uh, two capabilities one is in offline mode and another one is in on 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 online mode so in offline mode this is the step you have to go here and then you have to take that uh, dis slip you have to fill that uh, dis fill uh, form they will provide they will give you that dis slip only after you go there physically you have to verify yourself physically only then they will courier you this dis slip uh, within 48 hours you have to fill that form and then you have to courier back so this uh, sort of uh, offline filling form is there so i thought being in this new generation why to just uh, waste that resource and go for this offline mode you instead try everything online and it works out of the box that's when i have chosen the cdsl easiest and as per this process what is the first step first step is register your accounts right how to register your account it is simple just go here and search for cdsl easiest this is the form here if you are new new you are yet to register right in this form you have to go here and click on register cdsl easiest in this thing it will ask you to enter your uh, dp id dp id is nothing but your dmat account id dmat account id you have to enter this once you enter this dmat account id and client id both of you will get both of these details in your uh, console report you go here uh, you log into this kite and then you go to console right console when you hit on this account in the account section you will get all those details in the account section you have something called dmat uh, table here once you click on that dmat you will get both of these dp id and uh, client id once you enter these two when you hit on this continue button you click select this register and you hit on continue they will send you the otp to a register mobile number how they will get your register number num mobile number and all is from zero that itself so they will get that uh, register they will send you to that uh, register mobile number otp once you verify the otp you have to enter these account details how the account detail uh, section looks like account detail section will looks like something like this it will tell you what is your dp id email id blah 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 <coughs> and then here here it will ask you to enter your username this username is important you need to remember this username you can give any username here maybe it is your name followed by combination of some alphanumeric characters whatsoever but don't forget to remember you need to remember this username and after that it will ask your security question and answer blah 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 and and after once you enter these two select this trusted account because with we are transferring the holding holding between these trusted accounts right that's why we have to hit on this trusted account and then click on continue and in this trusted account details here here you need to enter the beneficiary account number as per the next step what you have to do you have to add the beneficiary account right this is the beneficiary account adding step here you have to go to this trusted detail here you have to enter the dmat account number of the beneficiary where you need to transfer where you want to transfer the holdings right the beneficiary dmat account number you have to enter here once you enter this you have to hit on this continue button you don't have to fill this uh, grouping details and finally once you hit on this finish right it will take some time uh, they will do the validation of your details and once the validation is complete uh, the cdsl people will uh, mail you the details of the username and uh, password also password along with that they will also mail you the pin this pin will be required when you are transferring when you are uh, starting the transfer process so you have to remember that pin also that pin is different don't get confused with your uh, zero the pin this cdsl pin will be sent as part of that mail right you have to remember the you have to note that pin also somewhere you can uh, change that pin also but you have to remember that initial pin which they send in the mail so this is about the registration process 
if you have any doubts or something you can uh, let me know in the comment section or you can uh, ping me in the uh, twitter dm also i am available and i'm ready to help you once the registration process is complete what is the next step i told you to download this holding report right so how to download that holding report it's simple go to login to your credit console and then you go to this uh, portfolio right in the portfolio select everything equity debt everything and then you come down and then hit on this download excel this download excel once you download this is how it looks like so i have downloaded my excel and uh, for one of my family account here it says what are your equity holdings and what are your mutual fund holdings and combined combined report also they will give you so this way see here this is how the report looks like uh, what is the quantity you apply what is the average value this is important here we have to enter the exact average price value when creating the discrepancy which i was telling you earlier so we need how many holdings are uh, here and then what is the average price right we have to that's why this whole this report will help us with these details once you have these details next step is what next step is the until then what what we have to do you register for cdsl exist for both of these uh, demat accounts and uh, configure the beneficiary account in the uh, parent parent uh, DMA, uh, cdsl account once the beneficiary account is configured in the parent cdsl account go ahead and initiate the transfer process how to do that transfer process let me show you so now let me log in to the cdsl easiest so let me log in to one of my family account <coughs> so yeah this is how it looks like once you logged in right what we are, how we have to do we have to click on this transaction and then you have to hit on setup and then you have to hit on the setup and it will say kindly authenticate and just say yes so what you have to do now next next you have to hit on this bulk setup here click on this bulk setup so here it will ask you this is the uh, by default it will this is how it looks like let it be and then you have to select the transaction date suppose uh, it's a working day right today I'll, I'll try to prefer suppose monday is a working day i'll go here and uh, i'll say that uh, you do this transactions on monday itself i'll select this if it was if today is a working day you could select today itself like that so you select the transaction day and then you don't have to select any exchange id any anything else just leave it as it is and in the entity identifier right you select as na you select as na and next is this is the mandatory thing you have to select counter boid counter boid is nothing but your beneficiary account this is your parent account what is your beneficiary account during registration itself we had entered that 16 digit beneficiary account right you remember here uh, we had entered right that uh, trusted beneficiary account demat account it is that one here after this registration of account is successful this that will get reflected here so i had added my beneficiary account here so i have to select my beneficiary account detail here like this once i select this beneficiary account detail you don't have to fill any other details here one is what is the try execution date monday i'll selecting uh, because monday being working day this is the holding where i want to transfer and uh, this right i entity identifier select as na instead of tm you select as na <coughs> once that is done scroll down and here in iisn section right this is how it looks like what you have what you have to do next you have to hit on this plus button i'm just hitting on this plus button so here it will ask you this tab right oh, i don't know this iisn central what we have to do for that you have to just go here and hit on this account iisn once you click on this one what will happen whatever you are left out holdings in your uh, demat account right they will be shown here because if you come here only these are the holdings left in my demat account in this demat account specifically so these are being listed here so what i have to do for that i have to go here and uh, uh, select this now suppose these are the holdings i want to transfer to another beneficiary account right what i have to do now i have to go here and select this uh, uh, number and what is the holding accounts value i have four reliance accounts right so for that what i have to do instead of that you just click on this once you click on this that gets reflected here and now enter the quantity there are four four uh, holdings right there are four shares of zero uh, sorry reliance i have selected four and you don't have to enter this consolidation amount and all now since in my case i am transferring these holdings between my family accounts right 
so you th there are there are many ways you can do this transfer either it can be a donation you can be a gift a lot of things are there here in my case since the holding were between the family accounts so what i have selected i have selected transfer between specified family member so once you hit on this transfer between specified family member it will ask you the relationship what is the relationship in my case it was spouse 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 for that family account so when you click on that you have to click on ok once that is done that gets reflected here so that way one is being uh, added similarly you can go ahead and add nine more at a time they can take only 10 requests looks like so what i have done uh, uh, every day i am transferring 10 10 holdings now so i have already transferred uh, 20 30 holdings the remaining these are the remaining left out holdings uh, in this case in this case so i am showing you the remaining examples so one i have selected uh, reliance second what is left out now next is uh, tata steel let us say how many quantities are there 220 right just go ahead and click on this enter 220 here what is the uh, realize why i am transferring i am transferring between specified family member and then spouse hit on ok likewise you do for uh, remaining eight more holdings once everything is done what you have to do next step is hit on submit button you hit on the submit button it says uh, settlements are temporary approved blah, blah blah and then you hit on ok once you once it is done it says transaction successfully executed what you have to do after that next step is verification once you hit on this verification <coughs> it says again kindly authenticate and you just click on the ok now what we have to do here in this case you select all of these transactions suppose you have 10 transactions 10 holdings you are transferring right select all of these and then hit on commit button once you hit on this commit button it says it will ask you to enter the otp which uh, which you receive on uh, either mobile number or your uh, registered mail number mail id uh, since it was my other uh, family account let me just check the mail now uh, for the otp so once i enter this otp right uh, i'm just checking the mail it was i'm yet to receive the mail otp so just give me a second I'm still waiting for that because sometimes OTP generation will be late. I don't have the mobile number. Mobile number uh, is in some other place because I'm sitting in some other place. Yeah, I have received now. So the OTP for this is uh, 1252. Yeah. Once you submit this here, yeah, this is the pin I was talking you about. When uh, after the registration successful, right, as I told you, they will send that CDSL pin also you have to remember the cdsl pin this is that pin here so in my case my pin i am entering here once you enter that pin right only if the pin is successful it says authenticated successfully it means request is ac accepted successfully by cdsl easiest now what happens once the uh, transfer is successful these holdings right suppose today i am uh, sending this request here today is a working uh, if it is a working day if i am uh, doing this registration uh, sorry if I am creating this request before 3 30 p.m. they will do this uh, uh, transfer next day next working day so suppose you come in next day and as per this report what we have to do in the beneficiary zero the account create discrepancy what is that discrepancy and all let me show you that so uh, this is how my beneficiary account looks like I had to transfer the holding from that account to this beneficiary account right next day morning I will come in and uh, this is how it looks like see here uh, they will look like uh, as a triangle symbol here if you go here and uh, go to this one right uh, maybe analytics let me go over to console so uh, in one of the account had that uh, issue uh, yeah here this one see here uh, Deepak fertilizer and few of these things right it says uh, uh, they, they, their average value and all is not be not being reflected even in same year in the holdings also their value is not being reflected it says it is not applicable not applicable so for that what we have to do we have to create discrepancy right how to create that discrepancy and all let me show you that once the discrepancy is successful all these holdings will look uh, like this what is the buy value what was the average value everything will be reflected automatically after some that day itself these the other people will uh, if everything is clear they will approve it and your holdings will look normal like this 
now let me show you how to create the discrepancy you go here and uh, uh, what is that uh, here guys yeah we would uh, hit on this uh, view discrepancy here it says in gayatri projects right i have not created any trade here, here it says uh, uh, add trade once you hit on this add trade it will ask you to enter quantity it will ask you what is the type whether it was done in ipo or during normal operation in my case none of these were ipos and i have purchased on other days so i have selected others what is the quantity quantity is being 1100 here in my case 1100 what is the average price the average price how you will get to know this is the average price suppose in this case acc average price is so and so so we have to enter the average price of uh, that exactly you have to enter the same value otherwise zero the guys will reject your request so once you enter the average price like this suppose in my case i had bought it at 25 point uh, 25.56 uh, and when was the date in the holdings the date is not there what you can do you can go ahead and uh, check uh, when was that the average value of 25 was that uh, specific share holding you can select that date in my case i remember i have, we had purchased this on around uh, uh, february of last year so i'm going uh, i go ahead and uh, select this date the average price has to be exactly matching as per this report otherwise they will reject i'm again repeating it once exactly you mention this average price quantity is same as this uh, it was not ipo so that's why i've selected others you go ahead and add required information is not available i don't know what is the error let me just check uh, this one jewelry jewelry 100 is yes and the average price of jewelry let us see what is the average price of jewelry here yeah the average price is 127 right yeah let me add that the average price is 127 jewelry was also bought last year uh, around same time around uh, march date quantity date price quantity field are required okay yeah here yeah once i select this right yes this is how it says that trade is added but it will be in the pending set because zero the guys will come in and then they will do there is some issue with this uh, guy through project uh, because it some issue with that share that's why it was not added properly but other holdings uh, will get added so once the request is accepted they say uh, it is in pending state once zero the guys will validate this request and all once that is approved how it will look like it will look like this it will look uh, that uh, triangle this this will go off and it will look like this normal symbol normally it will uh, this is how it looks like if it is a long term holding greater than one year it will look like this or else it will come as normally buy values and uh, these all price and everything will get reflected on the same day you can come in on the day and uh, refresh uh, refresh it after two, one or two hours it will get added same way you go ahead and add the holdings for other accounts also in my case startup power 90 it was not an IPO and uh, purchase date was also last year. Uh, we had purchased it in around June. What is the average price of this startup power? Startup power average price is, in my case, it is 216.6306. 216.6306. When I hit on this add, it, it says uh, discrepancy is added. Once everything is, you, you need to repeat this for all other holdings. Once everything is done, if Jiroda guys approves your request, it will just go ahead and log in and refresh it. It will get reflected. Here. This triangle symbol will go up and it will get reflected here. The, this is how we can, these are the steps we to do this registration, uh, sorry, transfer process from holding from one account to another account. In a nutshell, in a very quick recap, wh what all steps we have to do? If you want to do the online process, go ahead and register your accounts in cdsl easiest that is the first thing add the beneficiary account uh, in the parent account in the cdsl easiest once you add that uh, beneficiary account don't forget to remember don't forget to download this uh, holding report in the parent account because we need these average prices of all these holdings right when creating a discrepancy like this once the holding report is uh, downloaded what we have to do we have to go ahead and uh, uh, initiate the transfer process by going to this uh, transaction and then hit on this setup and then uh, uh, once everything is done right you have to initiate that bulk setup and all once you everything is once you added those uh, holding uh, once verification and commit is done it says authenticated successful right once authenticated successful next day morning holdings will be reflected in the uh, child account 
beneficiary account once the holdings are reflected in terms of uh, like this we have to go to this console and then create the discrepancy how to create the discrepancy simple just go here and then click on this uh, view discrepancy and then uh, hit on these individual tabs it will ask you to add trade just click on this add trade number of shares are 500 if it is an ipo select ipo or if it is a normal select others select others enter the average price as per this report and then what was the date uh, you can get give the average date of that value so once everything is proper zero the people will come and approve your request this is the step once everything is done if you are a trader what you can do you can go ahead and uh, after that next day next day morning you come in and this will be reflected right you can go and uh, uh, do the pledge request that's how i'm doing the uh, do the pledge request and submit button that's it pledge request will be done once pledge is also done now, now my uh, these all holdings will be available for my uh, trading benefit see invested is 44 and uh, present is 45 because the few of these accounts are yet to be placed that's why it is not reflecting full value so that's it about this guys i think hope this session is in, uh, useful and uh, informative if you find this uh, session useful and informative uh, and also if you are uh, watching the videos for the very first time uh, request you to please subscribe to my channel this is a channel options inversion and uh, uh, nowadays I started uh, sharing my live trading experience also and also I am sharing my insights on uh, how I have reduced my home loan tenure and uh, what is the better way of uh, doing the real estate investments. What, whatever knowledge I am knowing I am just sharing here be it in terms of trading or in other information also I started trading and these days I started doing uh, uh, algo uh, I am jumping my hands also in the algo trading. I started sharing my knowledge on algo trading also so whatever knowledge i'm gaining i'm trying to share here so that uh, i'm i'm with the intention to uh, share information each other and grow together so that way i request you to please subscribe to my channel and if you find this video helpful and useful please like this video also and uh, subscribe so that we can grow together and share information uh, each other so that's it from this video and uh, uh, see you in the next uh, other educational video have a great day Bye.